E.N.D. here. Fallout is the latest brand to be released in the Magic Universes Beyond, consisting of four pre-constructed Commander decks, Scrappy Survivors, Science, Hail Caesar and Mutant Menace. All of them offers us a different game strategy within the Fallout franchise. But is it worth it to buy a Fallout pre-constructed Commander deck? Let's start. And I want to start with my favorite, Scrappy Survivors, a red, green and white deck centered around scavenging for tools, food tokens and allies. Commander, Dogmeat ever loyal. Dogmeat is every survivor's best friend. He'll sniff out rare loot, track down dangerous enemies, fetch useful items and protect his allies in battle. Price currently traded at around $50. Content value approximately $197. The most valuable cards in this pre-constructed commander deck are inventory management valued at around $15, idolized valued at around $12, strongback and vault 101 both of them are valued at around $10, Bib Boy 3000 valued at around $8, Dog meat ever loyal, Mr. Gutsy, and almost perfect, all of them valued at around $7. In the reprint section, we have Heroic Intervention valued at around $10, and Basilisk Collar valued at around $3. Verdict worth it 85%. I told you it's my favorite, and when you take into account the fact that your commander is none other than Dogmeat, the adorable and loyal cunning companion. Well, it just solidifies the value of this purchase. Trust me, every penny spent on this is absolutely worth it. Second commander deck, Science, a blue, red and white deck that utilizes high-tech energy weapons, scientists, synths and pre-war robots. Commander Dr. Medicine Lee. She's one of the brightest scientific minds of her time, spearheading advanced research in the Capital Wasteland and the Commonwealth. Price, also here, currently traded at around $50. Content value, approximately $130. The most valuable cards in this pre-constructed commander deck are Dr. Medicine Lee, valued at around $13. Over Encumbered, valued at around $10. Liberty Prime Recharged valued at around $7, Intelligence Bubblehead valued at around $5, and Nuka Cola Vending Machine and Ferris Lake, both of them are valued at around $3. In the reprint section, we have Pan Harmonicon valued at around $6, Lightning Greaves valued at around $5, and Treasure Vault valued also at around $5. Verdict worth it 55%. It's the commander deck with the lowest content value. Hence, spoiler alert, the lowest verdict percentage. But as this deck is centered around energy counters, in the future, if energy would get a boost as a returning mechanic in a major set, things for this deck could become interesting. Third commander deck, Hail Caesar, a red-white-black deck that revolves around leaders of militant factions, their soldiers and wasteland riders. Commander Caesar, Legion's Emperor. He isn't actually the famous Roman, but his desire for power and conquest is a perfect match for his ancient predecessor. Price, currently traded at around $60 and the most expensive one. Content value, approximately $160. The most valuable cards in this pre-constructed commander deck are Caesar Legion's Emperor, valued at around $13. Mr. House President NCO, valued at around $10. Fervent Charge, valued at around $6. Battle of Hoover Dam and Kellogg Dangerous Mind, both valued at around $5. And Paladin Elizabeth Taggarty, valued at around $4. In the reprint section, we have Skull Clamp, valued at around $7, Pitiless Plunderer, and Ruinous Ultimatum, both of them are valued at around $6, and Black Market, valued at around $5. Verdict, worth it 75%. It's currently the most expensive commander deck out of the four, but having said that, it's one of the most fun deck to play, especially Caesar Legion's Emperor. Also, I would keep an eye on Fervent Charge and Battle of Hoover Dam, 
both cards can easily find a good place in other commander decks. Fourth and last commander deck, Mutant Menace, a black, green and blue deck that incorporates Fallout Dangerous and Strange Mutated Creatures. Commander, the Wise Motman. The Wise Motman is said to bestow gifts of knowledge upon fortunate travelers and loyal cultists. Price, currently traded at around $59. Content value, approximately $197. The most valuable cards in this pre-constructed commander deck are Alpha Deathclaw, valued at around $17, Nuclear Fallout, valued at around $11, Raul Troubleshooter and Watchful Ratstag, both valued at around $8, Feral Gow and Ratstorm, both valued at around $8, Agent Frank Horrigan, valued at around $6, The Wise Motman and Master Transcended, both valued at around $5. In the reprint section we have Guardian Project, valued at around $10, even though reprinted in Ravnica Remastered, Branching Evolution, also here, valued at around $10, and Inoxorable Tide, valued at around $9. Verdict, worth it 80%, in terms of value versus the price, this commander deck is worth it. And if the most notable and valuable cards mentioned above keep their value, or maybe increase in value, this deck may have huge future potential. Leave me a comment below, which is your favorite Fallout deck. And as always, subscribe buttons here, subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world. I'm out.